Okay, so I'm going to run through a quick technique that I, I might use if the data wrangling was too difficult and that would take a bit of time. So I'd probably make, um, if we know the end result, which is a bump chart, I'd probably make up some dummy data. So I've gone ahead and done that. So I've got some book IDs, I've got some book categories, and I've got some dates for the rankings. Okay, so we're going to use uh, Tableau Prep to generate some dummy data. So let's... Uh, connect to some data. We want to connect to Excel. Uh, books dummy data start. Yep. So I'm going to bring in the categories and I'm also going to bring in the books. Now these are just the numbers 1 to 20. All right. So I'm going to say there's 20 books in each category. So I'm going to combine these two via a join. And now we've got the 20 times 5. So 20 books, 5 categories. So now we've got 100 different rows. So we've got for each for each uh, category, we've got 20 books. Okay. And we no longer need that second uh, key. We just get rid of that column. All right. So what we might also do here is create a calculated field that's going to be a unique book ID. And it's going to be the, uh, let's say, category plus the string of the book ID. And let's also add in a little uh, pipe uh, symbol just so that it's a bit neater. Okay. There we go. Unique book ID. Yep. And then we no longer need the book ID number anymore. All right, so A has all the A book IDs and B has all the B book IDs. Yep, so you get the picture. So let's go ahead and bring in the, the dates, so the uh, the weeks that we have, the weeks of the ranking, and let's join that up with that one there. All right, it's joined by a key, which is what we wanted. Let's take a look at it. Okay, so now each date has 20 books for each category. Okay, fantastic. So we no longer need the two keys anymore. All right, so we've sort of made a like every instance sort of uh, data set. Let's go ahead and export that. We'll export it to CSV. And we'll just plonk it into that same folder that we were using before. Uh, desktop dummy data, let's put it in there, output CSV. Okay, so let's go and check out that folder. Ah, oh, we have to run the flow. <laughs> All right, so now it's there. Good, good, good. So we open it up. Uh, we can see that we got a whole bunch of data. I'm just going to make it a table. And I'm going to make a column called sales. And that's just going to be some random number. All right, and then I want to rank uh, the each book within each week by the category. Okay, and to do that, I've actually got a formula that I've gone ahead and worked out. Um, bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. Here we go. Let's uh, plunk it in. Yep, it's all identifying well. Cool. And I'll just quickly show you what what that's doing. Uh, one, two, by every week, by every category by sales descending. It's, oh, oh, okay. I forgot to do one thing, and that was to uh, paste those sales values, because as a random number they're generating each time I rerun that. Let's go ahead and sort it again. Okay. So what we can see here is for each week, each category, what is the ranking for that book? Now we're also, we're only interested in the top 10 rankings. Let's just say that that's all our data had. So if we filter out anything above 10. Let's go ahead and delete those rows. And then save it. Okay, so now we're ready to make our bump chart in Tableau. So I might uh, do that in the next video.